During the lockdown days of 2020, I was able to discover a lot of great music. I would spend a lot of my time just listening to a lot of music on YouTube every single day. Some of the many many great artists that I've discovered during that time were Sonic Youth, The White Stripes, Dream Theater, and The Runaways. I could probably name like a hundred more artists, but that would definitely take too much time. I was able to discover a lot of albums which I've grown to love forever. However, I would like to focus on one particular album that blew my mind the first time I listened to it. This journal entry is about the first time I listened to I Saw the Sun by Slow Dive. I Saw the Sun is a slow dive album that isn't even official. If I'm not wrong, it's a bootleg compilation made by someone. The compilation consists of unreleased slow dive tracks, plus a few released ones I think. Whatever it was, it was an album that blew my mind. That's the album that got me into slow dive, and it is why I consider slow dive to be one of the best rock bands ever. I mean I definitely love the officially released stuff by the band, but nothing tops this album for me. I'm very thankful that YouTube has it. I can say that it can be as great as Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon, as it can perfectly capture the pretty negative and tired emotions, and turn them into an outer space sound that makes you nothing but high. For me, some of the tracks in the album that do this are Hide Your Eyes, I Saw the Sun, and the electric version of Dagger. But besides giving you that great high feeling of outer space, I would say that there are tracks that I could even consider winerific. Winerific means visually beautiful but scary, however in this case, it sounds beautiful but scary at the same time. I'm not sure if using winerific as a description is still appropriate, but I would definitely say that some tracks can very well capture a scary feeling and make it sound so beautiful and addicting. The best example of this is a track called Nightmare. Listening to this album for the first time could be considered as one of the most amazing moments of my life pertaining to music. I don't really have any other experiences like it. This did not only open a gate for my love for slow dive, it definitely opened up a gate for my love for shoegaze in general. This album is definitely an amazing thing that I came across during the lockdown days which felt pretty gloomy. Neil Halstead, Rachel Goswell, and the rest of the band are such great artists for making the tracks in this compilation, and I will always love their work very much. I'm not sure if the band is still entirely together, but I hope they are. They released a new album back in 2017, and I do hope that they will still be making more music. One of my dreams is definitely to see them live, even at least once. I can imagine myself just standing in the crowd, listening to the band play live, feeling the outer space high along with the people around me. I'd really be drowning in the vocals of Neil and Rachel. If you haven't checked out the I Saw the Sun compilation album yet, then do so. Experience that haunting high feeling of outer space like no other. Immerse yourself in the amazing music of Slow Dive. You wouldn't regret it. And don't forget to wear headphones while listening to the music. You can thank me later about that. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and check out what I would consider as one of the best albums out there, by one of the best rock bands out there. Again, it's I Saw the Sun, by Slow Dive.